Hi everyone, Rhonda Robson with Rhonda's Try Artistry. And today's video is about taking some extra paint that I had from a couple of my bigger projects that I had and just doing a fun flip cup. And this is the results that I got. So I really like it. I did use silicone in here and it's got purples and blues and greens and um, golds and a little bit of white in there. And I think you're gonna enjoy watching this. Thanks for joining me today. Let's get you down on the canvas. And please, if you're new to my channel, consider subscribing and clicking that notification bell. All right, artists, let's get you down on the canvas and show you how this one is done. Bye for now. Talk to you soon. Bye. Hi, everyone. Uh, today we are going to be doing uh, a five flip cup. I happen to have some of these extra cups for Panera. They're wider, so I don't know if they'll do something different. But we're gonna do five flip cups right here, utilizing the colors that I've been using all day long, uh, which are blues and greens. I've decided to do uh, ocean scenes uh, for the most part today. And so today we're gonna do that with this as well. And I have a bunch of uh, paint over here that I'm just going to layer a little bit at a time using golds as well as the white. Um, I have um, some extra um, metallic white left over, so uh, I'll be using that in between the different ones. So I'm going to start with white here, and here, and here. And I have a little bit of blue in there from another one. Um, and then I'm going to start with gold and this one and this one. Oh, and this one. I guess that one's going to have a little bit of gold in it too. All right. So then I'm going to take the blue. I'm going to stir these a little bit. They've been sitting all day. And just go across each one of these. I gotta be careful scraping too. I don't wanna scrape too much of the sides because uh, the sides are drying. Um, seriously, they've been here all day. It is almost four o'clock and I started um, making my paints at four o'clock this morning. So uh, I've been doing this for 12 hours. So pretty cool, pretty cool. All right, let's go ahead with the dark blue. And I'm going to put some silicone in one of these. Uh, I forgot to do that, so I'm going to quick do that here. I think I'll put it in this gold here. And I'm just going to put uh, just a few drops of treadmill silicone, this one right here. And I'm only going to stir it a little bit. I'm not going to stir it like a whole bunch, okay? So let's start, let me put a little bit more blue in that one. This is not the same color, but that's okay. There we go. Let me put the same color over here. Okay, so let me stir this up a little bit more. So this is the gold that has silicone in it. And this is, I believe this is antique gold. The other one was regular gold. one get rid of all this leftover paint all right so now I like to kind of go with a green let's see here's a green start over here You 
you know? I was running out of cups, and so I found these, so that works out perfect to, to use these Panera cups. I've kept them for a while, so, you know, you just never know what you're going to use. Okay, let's see what's next. I think I'll put this light gold on it. I'm just going to use up all the colors that I have except for the dark, dark browns. I'm not going to use those. That was a part of my sand today. This is um, cobalt blue, but I just got to put a little bit in each because I don't have very much of it. It's one of my favorite colors, though. It's metallic cobalt blue, actually. I think this is metallic cobalt blue too, but I think I did a little less ratio on this one. It's a little less of the paint, a little more of the medium, so it's a little lighter. That works. All right. I know I'm going to have a lot of excess paint that's going to fall off of this, but that's okay. I was going to end up putting them in a bunch of, let's see, colors this. This, I think, has white and bronze in it. That's all right. foam green. Oh, ultramarine blue. Oh, this one might be thalo blue. No, I think it's the ultramarine blue. Okay, and then this one, that one, that one, that one had white, so I'll finish this one, and then this one with white. And then this with the gold. This one with the gold. good to get all that paint gone. I have some browns here I gotta put away. But... Okay, so these are super full. So um, I'm gonna flip them one at a time. Hopefully they don't spill everywhere, but okay. Ready, set, go. Yeah, it spilled. These are gonna be cool colors though. Look at that. I see the silicone coming out too. And I don't have to wait too long because it was so full. I can go ahead and flip them.
little slippery. Okay, I'm just going to put it right there. So I'm just going to let that kind of sit for a minute. I'm going to torch it to get some cells coming up. And then we will uh, move it. be a fun one. I like it. Boy, I'm sure glad that ultramarine blue was in there because it's kind of a purple color that it's given us. Okay. So this is really cool. I really like the colors. Glad I did it. Super cool. Um, I'll probably torch it again to see what else comes up. I do want to just kind of one more time that way. So this, this is my little torch. It doesn't work. So, all right. That's a weird looking one. Let's see if I can get some purple or something in there. Okay, I'm going to leave it. See how it goes. I already see how the silicone is going clear down to the canvas though. 
So we may have white spots behind it. Okay, I'm gonna go put this to dry. All right, bye for now. Thanks for watching, and if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so that way you can get notified when I have a new video up. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.